Welcome to the Peerless YouTube channel. I am Katie North and today we will be doing Easter eggs and making watercolor washes. So this is kind of like a, a two part video just because we're doing two different paintings and styles in it. So even if you don't plan on painting Easter eggs, there's a really cool technique that we were doing after we make the egg washes that we use um, squirt bottles like for cleaning and True actually paints a whole watercolor painting all by itself just using squirt bottles. So that's also kind of a, you know, an add on to this video. The Easter eggs turn out amazing and they're super cute and it was a great memories to make with my mom and Drew while she was visiting. Um, but if that's not your thing, making the washes and doing a spray painting might be and that turns out really cool too. So. Those will be in this video. We are doing another video for Easter and it'll be the Peter Rabbit illustrations. So stay tuned for that one, but let's get started on our Easter eggs. For your supplies, you will be needing Peerless watercolors, mystery grab bag, blown white eggs, paper towels, plastic cups, color saver bottles and watercolor paper and a few extra squirt bottles. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Art friends. Hi, Art friends. <laughs> yeah, welcome Art friends and thank you Mimi, my mom for being here with us today. Uh, to get started, we are going to be separating all of our colors into color groups and then starting to make our washes. We are just going to be dipping them in or letting them drop in. And it's very nice to have a sheet of watercolor paper next to you to test the washes as you go. And if you wanna make them more muted or brighter, lighter or darker, just having that watercolor paper to test them, very helpful. Um, they are very concentrated with paint, so they do stain your fingers, so you might wanna wear gloves. My fingers are always stained, so I'm not that worried about it. And yeah, we did make a palette to paint on our eggs after. Um, but yeah, so just to get going, we are just making all of our colors. And this first wash, we're just gonna be dunking our eggs. And I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. That part's pretty easy. And um, yeah, in a little bit, we'll kind of show you what else we did with them. So once we've done our first dunk of paints on each egg, we actually use strips of watercolor and that have not quite necessarily been completely submerged in water and still have a, like a concentrated like, corner of it. And we're kind of using a wet on wet technique on the egg. So the egg itself is still wet from the first initial dip. And then you can see how True's kind of just painting and letting that really concentrated part just seep into the wetness of the egg and it just makes a really cool effect. That kind of tealy blue with that stripe of cobalt is probably one of my favorite ones. And that's exactly how we did that, just that wet and wet technique. Um, we also painted some after they've dried completely. And my mom did a little carrot. I made true a dino, a dino egg. Um, we made a rainbow one. We did a couple rainbow wet on wet techniques. So all super fun. You can be as creative as you want with it. And yeah, it turned out super cute. So these are probably my favorite part about this tutorial and I probably should do another tutorial just on washes, um, but kind of a happy accident because I didn't want to waste my paints that we kind of came up with the idea is that we can make your own personalized washes and for colors that you like. So I don't know who asked that question when I first started Peerless about what my favorite color would be, but rose gold was it. So I kind of have my own little rose gold now. So Peerless sells these bottles on their website. Um, it was amazing and worked super well with the mystery grab bag. And I kind of, we also, because we sorted them into the colors and kind of made our washes from that. 
but you would also use all of your scraps. So all of those old palettes that you don't use anymore, um, some of those little squares that don't have enough paint to start a new painting, just save them all. And then you can kind of add those to, you know, their color coordinated boxes. And then once you're kind of gone through some paint, just made a lighter tone of washes. They've actually already come in super handy. I did a really big commission that's like huge and there was like a million different colors of green. And so I had a dish of green wash, just this one, just this one in a dish. And so I would pick up the green from there and then directly apply it to my watercolor palette, or like to the actual paint so I can get the different greens from there. And so I'm starting from a green base and not having the water in my water reservoir brush, if that makes sense. So instead of water, I'm using a wash. So it's doubling up the pigment and it worked perfect and it was super amazing and I'm kind of laughing at myself that I make things super vibrant in all of my paintings and I usually do three to five washes but if I start with a peerless wash and then go to my peerless sheet I'd like I would just save me like two layers of paint so this is great I would definitely recommend buying a bunch of these and making your own little washes it's yeah turned out very very fun so I hope that helps Yep, and you can see how many amazing washes True, myself, and my mom made. And next up is another option and something to do with either with kids or with not. I actually was kind of jealous. I might be end up doing a spray paint painting myself because it was so fun and True wouldn't let me help him. So, yeah. Basically, just filling up our things, spurt bottles with leftover paint and just letting him go for it. We we um we did about I think we did four layers for this and we kind of switched the directions a couple times. So I just kind of took it off the tree and re-nailed it kind of sideways and then upside down and just tried to talk him into letting it dry in between layers because he probably would have just kept going the whole time too. But you know, just let him go for it. And yeah, it turned out gorgeous. And the eggs were gorgeous. Our tea party was so much fun. There will be um, more more photos and more video from our tea party after our Peter Rabbit class. But I would absolutely do this again. There's True's finished painting, and it's stunning. And then also our tea party. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mom, for being here with us. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends. And we'll see you next time for the Peter Rabbit Easter eggs. Thank you.